Good morning and welcome back listeners uh, to the podcast series of the seven laws of reality and being and uh, today we um, introduce the seventh principle which is the principle of gender uh, f- from the Kabbalion uh, gender is in everything everything has its masculine and feminine principles gender manifests on all planes so that was a quote from the Kaibalion. Uh, so the mind, the potentiality of uh, the principle of mind, basically, which is the first principle discussed, is beyond any dualism of gender. So, so therefore, uh, what we call mind, uh, what we call God, what we call pure being, or uh, what we call enlightened uh, awakening uh, or awakened beings, there, everything is completely beyond gender. N- nevertheless, uh, the timeless, spontaneous manifestations which appear and manifest according to the different principles that we already uh, studied, um, they also um, include the principle of gender. So the Hermetic Principle states uh, that there is gender manifested in everything uh, in form basically the masculine and feminine principles are always present and active in all phases of the manifestation of the play of reality and every every plane of phenomenal existence so in this case we must make a clear distinction between gender in this hermetic sense and the sexual gender in the ordinary use of this term the word gender mentioned in this principle has a much broader and more general meaning than the term sexual gender Uh, since the latter refers uh, only to the physical manifestation of male and female sentient beings and is one manifestation of the principle of gender on the physical plane of organic life. However, the principle of gender as a whole is responsible for the creating, producing, generating, manifesting phenomena on every plane of manifested reality. So, uh, in the physical world, the, the atom is composed of a central nucleus which is composed by a mix of positively charged protons and neutral neutrons uh, surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons so this is just one example um, we also find the principle identified with the positive pole and the feminine with the negative pole of energy in this case but um, this uh, can give rise to confusion because the so-called negative pole is really the pole in and by which the generation or production of new energy is manifested. So therefore there is nothing actually negative, but uh, we can consider the mother principle of the manifestation of energy on all levels. Uh, so then we have the different functions of the, the male principle is that of directing energy toward the feminine principle and triggering into activity the creative process. Uh, but, but it is the feminine principle the one doing the active creation uh, work and this is observed on all planes of the phenomena. So arising from the operation of the principle of gender on the plane of material energy, all the phenomena of light, heat, electricity, magnetism, attraction, repulsion, uh, chemical affinity are manifested. Also the law of gravity is can be considered another manifestation of the principle of gender which operates in the direction of attracting the masculine and the feminine energies to each other. Uh, neither the masculine nor the feminine uh, principle uh, in the hermetic sense is capable of operating energy without the assistance of the other counterpart and in general all forms of life manifest both the genders in different levels and degrees. For example, also in the human, uh, each female human contains male elements and vice versa. And uh, in some forms of life, the two principles are also combined in the same organism in even levels and degrees. So this is just an introduction to the principle of gender. And in the next podcast, we will speak more about the mental gender or the principle of mental gender. Um, And um, this is how consciousness operates using uh, according to the principle of gender okay thank you very much for listening and uh, i will um, put in the comments the links to my books where more information can be found